the fab and fab lab is short for fabrication and it's uh, a whole bunch of tools that are used to construct and build things. My name is Eric Salim. I'm a visiting instructor with the Department of Biology. Within the Fab Lab, students will be exposed to a lot of different things. Uh, one is the training. Uh, each of the equipment in here actually uses a software um, that the industry uses, uh, like AutoCAD, AutoDesk. These are things that they will be experienced or exposed to if they went out into the career field. So they get training in that software. Uh, the other thing is that they can fabricate it. They can actually use the equipment and the software to make things and be creative. Uh, these are things that they can actually use to sell uh, for a business to be entrepreneurs or maybe to actually alleviate some problems. Around campus it can definitely help like build certain things like for certain people. Certain machines like this one over here that can like cut like words and stuff like that. It can create labels or logos or like um, signs and stuff like that for certain buildings. Not only do they get training, uh, there's entrepreneurship involved with it and they also get to make connections out into the community outside of North Carolina Central University. Um, and it actually started at MIT um, and their engineers and technologists started with hacking things. Uh, that's basically like taking a computer, taking a lamp, uh, anything and basically taking it apart and seeing how the parts go together and then assembling it back into something and performing it different. Um, so, yeah, the fab part is the fabrication, but it's also a fabulous part because you get to create things and innovate things. In our fab lab, the machines that we're working with, I guess the, the most notable one is the Epilogue laser cutter. Uh, that can engrave as well as cut anything from glass to metal. Um, I guess the common thing or the most popular thing that we have in the fab lab is the 3D printer. Um, I think with the Maker Movement, 3D printers are real popular because it's the children can see it and you can print out little nice little figurines, 3D things. Uh, but in addition to that, we have the ShopBot. And ShopBot to me is like a big bandsaw that can cut anything I basically put in it from glass to metal to acrylics uh, to plastics. Uh, we also have a vinyl cutter, a rolling vinyl cutter, which is primarily for producing decals from small decals that I can put on a phone to large decals I can put on a, a car or a building. Oh, we have the 3D scanners. Uh, 3D scanners give us the option to take any object, uh, scan it, and produce an exact replica of it. I think the Fab Lab offers North Carolina Central University a wonderful opportunity to establish itself within the international community uh, because the Fab Lab movement is international and all of the labs share and integrate. So I think uh, it would allow our students international exposure. And hopefully we can travel with this and allow our students to see the world.